So we know that white light can go through the cranium, and that's why we have biophotonic activity. Do we know how far those fields are going? Hmm. Which means, can I read your field? Can I perceive your field? Can you modify my field? Uh, certainly. So, and I'd love to talk more about light as well, because it turns out that in the in the last few years, we've we've um, also shown in in the field of um, of biophotonics that um, there are biophoton emissions specifically from the nodes of Grandier, which is very interesting. And in fact, the, some authors have suggested that the nodes of Grandier along the axon act as a kind of photonic transmitter. So there's but, but yeah. the nodes of Grandier is just a piece of axon. It's so the whole axon is doing it. The whole axon is doing it, but at regularly spaced intervals. Oh, also. So just to node of Renvier, it's the name of, of, of someone. And so you, you remember you have axon, one that myelinated. Mild, you have a big sheath, an axon. Then you have a little space and another sheath of myelin, sorry. A little space, another sheath of myelin. So you have the space between those sheath of myelin and those are the node of Renvier when the axon is exposed. So we talked before about receiving electromagnetic field and now you talk about emitting biophoton from there. Yes, and, and that space is specifically emitting biophotons at a higher rate than the myelinated portions of the axon as well. So there seems to be an interesting biophotonic relationship there as well. We could correlate that to a crystalline structure, a crystal, biocrystal. In a sense, I mean, it has a kind of regular, a regular pattern. Um, so it, I, I think it has a, a similar structure, yes. A crystal emitting light.